Good morning, I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make fresh tomato salsa. My homemade fresh tomato salsa is the most flavorsome tomato salsa you'll ever have. It's a savory, light, and a refreshing dip for chips. I love this recipe in fajitas and it's my favorite toppings for chicken avocado burgers. So, let's get started! Good morning, I'm Meghan and welcome to Weppa's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. 5 pieces of fresh tomatoes, 1 piece of fresh Thai chili, 1 clove of garlic, half of red onion, 1 fresh lime, a handful of fresh cilantro, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, salt and pepper, minced garlic, finely chop the chili. You can add more if you like it real hot or use just half of the chili if you like it less spicy. Then, finely dice the red onion. Chop the cilantro and dice the tomatoes into very small pieces. These tomatoes are freshly picked from my garden. If you want to learn how to grow tomatoes in pots, check out my vlog on apartment gardening. I will include a link in the description box for you. Add all the ingredients into a mixing bowl. Cut the lime and set aside. Using an immersion blender, mix the ingredients at low speed. You can also use a blender machine or a food processor and use the pulse action. Keep in mind that if you blitz it longer, you'll have a really smooth, almost like soup texture. Now add a cumin, salt, pepper, and lime juice. Blend again for one second at low speed. For added texture, you can add more tomato chunks. I don't know about you, but I like a chunky salsa. Taste and adjust the seasoning before serving. If you don't have any of the machines I've mentioned, you can just finely chop all the fresh ingredients and then use a mortar and pestle to mash and combine the ingredients. This homemade fresh tomato salsa is my favorite toppings for my chicken avocado burger recipe. To learn how to make this absolutely mouth-watering dish, check out the link in the description box. Store the leftover tomato salsa in an airtight container and you can keep it in the fridge for 5 days. This salsa tastes amazing on toasted bread and it's a great dip for tortilla chips. I hope you'll try this recipe and let me know how it turns out. Serve it cold or at room temperature. As always, enjoy! Thank you for watching! If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!